Hi everyone, I'm Will and today I'm going to show you how to print and bind uh, a little booklet uh, like a zine or anything that you want to print out and bind. This is a zine that I made a couple of years ago just to show you what it's going to look like when it's finished. You'll need a ruler, you'll need a needle and thread, uh, ideally fairly thick thread, and you will need something like a push pin that you can use to make holes in the paper. So when you print, you want to make sure that you've got your pages in the right order. And you can work it out manually, but it's quite difficult to do, so I don't recommend it. Uh, what I recommend is to get Adobe Reader, if you don't have it already. It's free to download. And you open up your PDF in Adobe Reader, and you just go straight to Print. And when the box pops up, you click on this button here, which is Booklet. And uh, that will lay it out for you automatically. Uh, it should look like this once you've printed it out. So this is my stack of papers. These two pages that you're looking at are going to be the middle pages of the book and the fold is going to go down there. You can see if I flip it over, this is going to be the cover of the book. This is, uh, by the way, this is the Stygian Library by Emmy Allen. It's a supplement for fantasy role-playing games. This is just what I happen to be binding today. So there's that's going to be the fold there. Okay, so the next step is that you're going to fold your pages. I recommend folding each page individually so that you get a nice crisp fold. After you've folded all of your pages, it should look something like this. That's your inner pages that are folded now. And just check over your pages and make sure that they go in the right order. The next step is to poke some holes in the middle in order to bind it. So um, there's going to be five holes. The first one I've already done, it's uh, right in the middle. So if you're using a four size paper, then halfway down the page on an A4 size piece of paper is ten and a half centimeters. The next two holes are going to be halfway between the middle hole and the end. So you can see here I'm just using a pencil to mark roughly, doesn't have to be exact, roughly halfway uh, between the middle and the edge and then the last two holes are going to be halfway between these holes and the edge so let's see that's about five so about two and a half there and this is at fifteen and a half so one two yeah, we'll go about there oh you can't see it but it's it's there now the best thing to use to make these holes through the paper is something called a binder's awl, A-W-L. It's just a really sharp spike that you use to make holes in paper. Unfortunately, I lost my binder's awl, so I'm going to have to use the cheaper alternative, which is a push pin. You could also maybe use a kitchen skewer or a really big needle if you have one. Now with a push pin, you can get through quite a lot of paper, but you have to push hard and you just have to make sure that you're holding the edges with like this so that um, your your paper doesn't get out of alignment. So there's my target is the piece the pencil, and I'm just gonna push with my push pin. Push, 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 push. It's not easy. Wish I had my binders all, but at least now you can see how to do it if you don't have an all. So that's gone through, and then I'm gonna do that for the other four holes. So now we get to my favorite part, which is actually binding the booklet with some thread. And I've got a little diagram here to show you where the thread's going to go. This black line here is your paper, and on this is the inside of the spine, and this is the outside of the spine, and these five dots are the holes that we've already made. Now the blue line is the thread, and you're just going to follow the arrows to see where the thread goes. So you're going to start on the inside of the spine and go in through the middle hole and then you're going to go up the outside of the spine and you're going to go through this hole so you'll, then you'll be back on the inside of the spine go around to the outside again and then back through the same hole and just keep following these arrows down through these holes just doing a mirror image of what you've already done and coming around and finally back out through the hole that you started with so you have two threads coming out through the middle hole into the inside of the spine. 
Now here's the video of me doing it so you can follow along. See I'm going through the middle hole and pulling that tight so that the knot catches. Then I'm going back inside the spine, then around and outside the spine again, pulling it tight each time, make sure it's tight. Going back through the hole I've gone through once and pulling that one tight and then here we're going down, skipping the middle hole going through that second to bottom hole then back inside again pulling it tight again and just doing the mirror image of what we've already done and coming back to where we've started. Now here you're going to just tie off the two end threads so that they hold everything together and tie an extra knot on your thread to keep it from fraying. Snip off the ends just to make it look nice. And with that, you're done. You have finished binding your booklet. Thanks for watching, and I hope this was useful to you.